All right, Buena Shetta, good morning. What's poppin'? Your boy, Big Rich. Early morning business, mob story, Super Bowl Sunday. Gentlemen, throw some smoke in the air. Wipe your feet on the rug. You know the rules. Let's get right down to business. The San Francisco 49ers and the mob. Super Bowl team's ownership group has alleged dark history. The D. Bartolo name is synonymous with the San Francisco 49ers of the NFL. Real estate wealth and in some circles, suspicion of mob ties. The 49ers will be making their seventh appearance in the Super Bowl today under the Di Bartolo family ownership. Edward Di Bartolo Sr., the family patriarch and architect of the family fortune, was one of the nation's premier construction magnates during the second half of the 20th century and a pioneer in the development of the modern-day shopping mall. He was long suspected of a series of business connections to several high-powered organized crime figures. Federal authorities believed he was helping them launder their illicit gains through his myriad of business holdings. Purchasing the 49ers in the spring of 1977 for $18 million, he gave the team to his son. Here you go, son. I bought you a football team, Edward D. Bartolo Jr., to run. The Bartolo Jr. went on to lead the franchise to great heights, winning five Super Bowls in the 1980s and 1990s. Today, little Eddie's sister, Denise Di Bartolo, and her husband, John York, have the controlling interest in the team. Their father died of pneumonia in December of 1994, and his legacy as an ingenious real estate mogul, cemented in history and never having faced any criminal charges. Di Bartolo Sr. was born and raised in Steel Mill Country, Yorkstown, Ohio, a notoriously mobbed-up town in a notoriously mobbed-up region known as Mahoning Valley. In terms of mafia turf, Youngstown was always split between the Cleveland and Pittsburgh crime families. Per an FBI dossier compiled in 1985, D. Bartolo Sr. was close to the three Carabia brothers who represented the Cleveland mob in the area for decades. Charlie the Crab Carabia was murdered in 1980 in a beef with his counterparts in the Pittsburgh crew for stealing $60,000 in bribe money. According to FBI records, D. Bartolo Sr. turned to Charlie and his brothers for protection when he was being extorted by mobsters in Cleveland by way of a firebombing campaign launched against his shopping center storefronts in the early 1950s. FBI agents followed Di Bartolo Sr. and the Carabias as they traveled together to Las Vegas on a number of occasions where the Youngstowners went on big money gambling sprees. The FBI also linked Di Bartolo Sr. in his heyday to major American mafia titans Meyer Lansky, Carlos Marcello, and Santo Traficante. Lansky was Jewish but considered a founding member of La Cosa Nostra in the United States and acted as the CFO of the group's governing body, referring to as the commission until he passed away of natural causes in 1983. Marcello was the godfather of New Orleans mob and Traficante headed the mob family in Florida, basing himself out of Tampa. Lansky, Marcello, and Traficante were all suspected of investing in land deals with Di Bartolo Sr., and the IRS investigated Di Bartolo Sr. Quote, I got a range, so you're going to sit with this guy, the new owners of the 49ers, unquote. California mobster Jimmy the Weasel Fratiano was recorded on an FBI wire telling an associate he had set up an introduction to talk business. Fratiano eventually became a government witness, a disgracia. He told the FBI that he set up the intro for his associate to meet D. Bartolo Sr. through the Carabia brothers in Youngstown. His days in the mafia were spent in both the Los Angeles and Ohio crime syndicates, rising to the role of acting boss in the L.A. mob for a short time in the 1970s. All right, so of course, salute to Scott Bernstein, Gangster Report, nice little football article for Super Bowl Sunday. Everybody enjoy the game if that's what you're into. I'm going to be in the streets making money. I got no time to watch TV. I'm about business. You know what I'm saying? Everybody have a good day. Don't forget tonight, Drangheta Weekly News, and I will put up a video tonight for the Drangheta Weekly News. We got a bunch of articles, so I may put up one, two, maybe, you know, maybe two articles for the video tonight, all right, to make it a little longer because uh, the Drangheta is heating up, and I told you, 
We are the only ones on this YouTube network that even mentioned the Drangheta when it comes to news articles. So salute to Team Ruckus. You know how we get down. Everybody have a good day. Enjoy the game. Super Bowl Sunday. Eat, smoke, drink, be merry. I hope you guys win on your bets. We'll talk soon. Salute.